What's up, y'all? I am Marcus, also known as Epic Name Bro, and this is Shovel Knight. Now, this is actually a new indie game that's not yet released. They're working on it right now. Uh, I know it looks like a very old game. It's extremely retro, uh, and which is something that I love very dearly about it. But uh, let's just get started. This is this is a demo from uh, this year's PAX. And I'll show you guys how this works. All right, so we got the Shovel Knight. We, we have a shovel. We can attack if we hold down when we jump. We can attack downwards. As of right now, uh, the it's, it's two button controls. It's very very NES. So occasionally on the ground, you'll find these piles of dirt. You can dig them up, and you can get uh, basically points. You can get money for points. Uh, one thing I want you guys to pay attention to as I go through this demo here, I want you to pay attention to the level design, and I want you to look for secrets. Now, the first time I run through it, I'm not going to show you very many secrets. Uh, and then you guys just look and see if you can find them on your own and then I'll run through it again and I'll show you where most of the secrets are not all of them but I'll show you where most of the secrets are and you can just tell me what you think so we have these uh, destroyable blocks here that we can bust open with our shovel gotta watch out for these enemies that charge at you that's really cool and we have boiling lava being poured down alright here we go it's extremely, it feels a lot like a, a, a melee-oriented Mega Man game. But the thing that really sets it sets it off for me are all of the little secrets and, and hidden parts that the game has to it. Uh, the, this demo doesn't have the, the story features implemented yet. Uh, but from from what I've been told, it's, it's going to be very much, uh, if you know the old NES game Earthbound, uh, the Mother series, uh, very much inspired by that style of mixing humor and good story together. That's a series that a lot of people love. Alright, are you guys finding the secrets yet? Not every room's got one, but a lot of them do. Alright, this is a really cool mechanic here with this wizard. I can pull it off properly. You can attack his spells and you can use them. You can basically, eh, not parry, but deflect them and use them against him or uh, another enemy even. You can actually deflect and attack another enemy with it. Oh, these guys. Really cool. They will block if you try to attack them from above. They'll block if you try to attack them down there. You need to bait them to attack. Ooh, he moved off the screen a little bit. There we go. Got him. Yay. Combat's actually pretty fun. The enemies, uh... It's very similar to Mega Man in the fact that the enemies behave in very predictable ways, but... Oh. Now this is an obvious secret you guys should have figured out, so I'll just go ahead and get that one. See the enemies respawn. Alright, here we go. Come on now. You can use the shovel bounce. You can actually reach higher than you can with just a normal jump. Normally you wouldn't be able to jump to that, but if you use the shovel bounce, you can get there. So that's one sort of secret that you can be on the lookout for. Falling chandeliers, and they introduce them in a way that's very non-threatening here. Classic Mega Man design. They don't have to tell you that this shit is dangerous. They just show it to you and you automatically know, okay, yeah, this shit is dangerous. But if you're smart about it, you can use it to get treasure. Whoops. Alright, here we go. Try not to fuck this up. Ah! <laughs> I dropped off the ladder. That's embarrassing. Uh, so far, actually, the demo is really easy, but the thing about this is, this is a demo, a public demo for a convention, for the PAX convention, so it's not gonna be hard. You, you don't make demos for shows like that you don't make them difficult because if you do people don't get to the end of the demo and they don't know anything about your game all right we just picked up a sub item if i hold up and press the attack button yes very castlevania i can uh fire my sub weapon which in this case is appears to be a fireball 
Do, 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 do. I love the music. Uh, the background. I really like the way that it's it's very retro, but at the same time, if you look at the background palette, it, it all looks kind of green back there. That's very retro because you would often have almost solid color backgrounds. But <laughs> I love doing that. Some life recovery there. But the game very subtly has a lot more detail to it than what you would actually get from a real 8-bit game. We see we go left here. It's obvious treasure hoard here. Get this and dig our way down. And get this treasure. Worried about that enemy there. Oh, it's just a statue. They tricked you. Ha 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 ha. Ha oh, ha ha. By the way, there was another secret in that last room. I like the uh, intelligent respawns of enemies. Because you can come into this room from this direction, the enemy doesn't spawn here. So after you've cleared this room once, he doesn't respawn. Really good. Some enemies respawn, some enemies don't. Well done. And this is so Mega Man. This is so Mega Man right here. I love it. I love it. This is so freaking man. You gotta hit him in the head. You can't actually do damage to him if you hit the chest plate. There we go. Uh, the music, I believe, was actually... Uh, man, it's, it, it's, it's so... They, they nailed it. The, the retro feel, they absolutely nailed. And this guy... I'm just going to be patient. These guys. Sometimes there's a bomb in those uh, metal ones. Sometimes it's food and sometimes it's a bomb. Alright, you're down here. Make the jump! For great justice. Whee! A little bit more challenging to fight these guys here, because if you use your down jump, you end up breaking the floor. <laughs> Come on now, let's fight. You can just counter the, uh, corner them and then nail them with the shovel, though, and every time they go to attack, you'll destroy their ass. Whee! Down we go. Leap of faith right there. This book, very similar to uh, Heat Man stage, I guess, with the disappearing blocks. Heat Man from Mega Man 2, was it? So when you hit the book, it opens the blocks up, and then they close over time. Oh shit! I was worried about the rat, and I ran into the lava. Wait here, gotta be patient. There we go. Very old school. I really love the level design. It suits my sensibilities quite well. Alright, food. Great. Heal me up all the way. We're getting ready to fight the boss of the demo. Oh, there's a bomb. Gotta be careful when you open those up. It's a risk-reward sort of thing. Oh, hello. One, two, three, four... Get your woman on the floor. Gotta, gotta get up to get down. Gotta, gotta hit a griffin in the head with a shovel. And now, boss time. One. And big jump, and I dodged it. Oh, I got hit though when I landed on him. I can use my sub weapon a little bit more. Ooh. And this is where the sub weapon is really strong at this point. The game has not been fully balanced. This is an early demo. Once again, I'll remind you. And I told you before, it's tuned really easy so that anybody can beat it. But magic is really strong right there. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's kind of not not a Dark Souls reference, I would say, but I'm a I'm a big Dark Souls fan, so when I see this, I just kind of tugs at the heartstrings, man. 
All right. Let's enter our very low high score here. E N B. All right. Great. Now, this time, we're going to go through it again. This time, we are going to hit up some of these secrets, all right? So, you guys, just keep track of how many that you got, how many that you missed. Let's go through and get the secrets. First, we're going to dig up our money. Give me that money. Kill the little roach guy. Oh, he dropped stuff for us, too. All right, we want points. Points, points, points. We're playing for score. This is friggin' 8-bit, man. Feel like I'm in an arcade playing for playing for points, baby. Bang! Alright. They introduced these elements early here. Let's go this way. The one thing you gotta be careful with uh, the horns on your helmet. They actually do have collision detection and they and you will miss jumps if you aren't careful about it. Actually the collision detection is fairly good. The gameplay feels really tight. I got a lot of good things to say about it. The only concern that I have about this game, really, is uh, how much content it's going to have, how it's able to stay fresh. And I actually talked to uh, the developers about that a bit. And uh, I, th I think they are really going to be putting a lot of secrets and things into the final product. I, I think they said they were they're aiming for... Uh, and don't, don't quote me on this, but I think they said they were aiming for around an 8-hour... Uh, game, but something that could be uh, speed run, speed ran in uh, an hour or so. So that's the sort of experience we're talking about here with this game, which is pretty good for this style of game if they can keep it fresh. Now I know you guys had, I know you guys got this one. I know you had to. I know you had to have got the false wall trick. I know you guys got that secret. That's that's an easy one right there. It was painful for me to walk by it. It was so easy. I was like, come on, I know they're going to get that one. And we did do this one last time. Bounce up. Pyaw. Woo, woo, woo. Go through here. Hit this. Drop that. Money. Uh, they're going to have an upgrade system where you can upgrade your damage or your defense, or you can maybe uh, focus on sub-item usage, things like that. So they want to uh, provide some replayability. They, they've got a Kickstarter, but they're funded. This, is, this game's been fully funded. However, uh, they are still trying to meet their stretch goals, if I remember correctly. So, ugh. and one of the stretch goals I know was to have a kind of a four-player arena. Uh, so I think they are really focusing on trying to add a lot of replayability to this game, which is difficult for this style of game because uh, it's a, it's a mm, it's tough, man. You're making a game similar to a franchise that's loved by so many. When I'm talking about like Mega Man, this this is a very Mega Man style game. We've all played Mega Man before, you know. They, so they really have to do different things to stand out, and I think one of the main things they're going to do is with their level design. This is one of my favorite bits of level design right here, this room. It's a secret hidden in plain sight. It's this ladder right here. But the, the problem is if you, oh shit, I just screwed myself out of the ladder. Damn it. The problem is, oh, I got it. All right, if you bust the dirt, you can't reach the ladder. So you actually have to climb the ladder first. And they said so many people at PAX missed that secret. And it was just funny watching people just screw themselves out of the ladder without even realizing it because you're focused on the enemy that's in the, or what appears to be an enemy the statue that looks like an enemy you're looking at that being the trap the trick to the room but you see you can go over the top here but we're not gonna oh shit we did i was gonna say we're not gonna go this way we're gonna go the other way but then i accidentally went that way but we want to go back and get that money right notice once again intelligent respawn or lack of respawn right there the dirt does not respawn so once you've screwed yourself out of that ladder you've just screwed yourself out of that ladder but when you first come into the room you see all that treasure and then you see the obvious enemy waiting there and it feels like a trap so you're too focused on that and you dig into the dirt and you've lost the ladder 
level design is really one of the, the, the cool things that stood out to me about this demo. Of course, the the actual the the tightness of the controls, the gameplay is also really a big deal, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yay! I'll take it. All right, this next room has a a really cool little secret. I, I think probably all of that, the old school 8-bit guys probably got it, but just use magic. Younger generations might have had a little bit more difficulty knowing about this kind of trick. Should have gave you a hint. Oh, shit. I fucked it up. There we go. Oh, man. I messed it up. That's all right. I'll come back. These guys respawn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is such an old school trick right here. Aw, oh, damn it. Come on. Come on, rats. I'm trying to lure them up. That wasn't high enough. I need you to go higher. Higher. Not lower, higher. Yes. Finally got it. That was embarrassing. Notice you can move in front of the scoreboard up there. I love that. I love that. I love that. That's so Mario. <laughs> and it leads to this secret area that's pretty easy to miss. By the way, did you notice I jumped there because you can fall through that? That got me the first time. Whoa! Just kind of a little hint as the sort of things that they're going to be doing in the main game. I like it. I like it. These people understand 8-bit platforming design. They, they, they do. It's very clear. Alright, down into the next section. I'll take it. I believe we're almost into the library. Yeah. Aw, oh, crap, I got hit. Yeah, screw you too, buddy. Alright, and here's a secret that you might not expect. Come on, man, you gotta love that. You gotta love that. Breaking your preconception of only going right, going right, going right. And it feels so 8-bit bit and retro that you feel like you can only go right, but... Man, it's just great. All right, we gotta be, we gotta use our brain here a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. Woo! Nice. And here we go. Don't panic when you see them start to blink. Just be cool. Oh shit, I was too slow that time. Oh no! I had 99 magic! <laughs> Damn it. It's no good. I'm dying in my friggin' preview. You die. Attaboy. Much more like it. Eh, uh, we don't really need it right now. I could use some magic though. I want to spam it. Then again, I would like to see some more of the King's attacks, the Night King's attacks. I think they've got... Uh, right now they've got previews up for... I think like three of nine bosses. And they may have a... They may have a few more little tricks up their sleeve too. I don't know. I don't know if there'll be any secret bosses or anything like that, but... Uh, I, I think they got some more tricks up their sleeve there too. Alright, bro. Let's do it. One. You're gonna do your super jump. That's gonna give me chances to hit you. Hit. 
Hit you. Hit you. Hit you. Hit you. This slash. The confetti really complicates the situation for me. Gotta watch out for his charge. It very much feels like a Mega Man boss. Oh, shit. If he connects that, he slowly walks to you and pimp slaps you. Oh, yeah! Alright. So, remember last time when I told you I was going to show you all the secrets? I lied. I didn't show you all the secrets. There's still a couple of... Uh, there's still a couple of things just in this little demo that I did not show you. And... To me... See that 2,000 score? I, I think my high score is around 4,000 or something like that. Actually, it was a little bit higher. That requires not dying, obviously. But there's still a few little secrets. <laughs> you gotta love it, man. This is the big cash right here. All about exploration and discovery. So... I am Marcus, also known as Epic Name Bro. This is an independent game being developed by Yacht Club. And if you are interested in this title, you can look for it to come out later this year. But on top of that, if you're really interested in it, then you can check out their Kickstarter. I, I've been this is the second time recently I've done a Kickstarter preview. I I don't actually really like Kickstarter that much because a lot of the projects tend to be very terrible and unrealistic. However, uh, Dover's Drop and also uh, Shovel Knight here, these projects, they have playable demos that really demonstrate to me how the game's actually going to be. And I think they have realistic goals for their project. And in this case, the game is funded, so that's great. But they're still trying to reach stretch goals, they're still trying to, still trying to add some multiplayer elements and uh, additional things to suit replayability. So if you are really interested in it, I highly recommend checking it out. This was a really fun little demo. I mean, we're talking about probably not even a full stage of the final game. And if we go back to the map here, let's go to the map. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on this screen. And I know there's like nine bosses up on their Kickstarter. And I think they have plans for a little bit more too. So, I don't know guys, let me know what you think in the comments, and if it's something that looks interesting to you, then check out the Kickstarter. If not, then you probably didn't watch to this point of the video, right? 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 Later guys.